Good morning. Uh, I would like to give you um, a brief overview of the activities in the National Coordinators Forum, or NCF. So the National Coordinators Forum is the forum where the national coordinators mean, uh, meet. Uh, that means the, um, normally the leaders of the consortia in each country, which is member uh, of, um, of the Claire and Eric, and also has room for the uh, observers. Um, since uh, the conference last year, uh, there have been some new members. So Finland is a new member, uh, uh, and we have welcomed Krista uh, Linden uh, as the national coordinator. For Latvia, it is uh, Inguna Skadinja, and for Hungary, it is Tamas Varadi. Um, the National Coordinators Forum has been uh, led by Erhard Hinrichs until uh, the end of April this year, with uh, Kadri Vider as, as vice chair. Uh, and from May, uh, I have taken over as uh, chair, uh, elected by the uh, NCF members, uh, with Jan Odek as my vice chair. Um, the NCF is really uh, the place where um, national coordinators mean and meet and exchange ideas. And uh, so it is uh, an important place to sort of um, see what the national activities are and to try and coordinate them, uh, coordinate them uh, with each other and with uh, the central activities in the Claren Eric. Um, among the activities that have taken place uh, last year, uh, and in fact like, like the years before roughly, is um, there has been extensive communication and dissemination. Uh, I will go into details later. Uh, there has been uh, cooperation uh, on building and operating the infrastructure. And of course, uh, the NCF has also taken care of the uh, annual conference. So with respect to the last thing, um, the NCF is, uh, in fact, ex officio, uh, the program committee of the uh, Clarion Annual Conferences. So uh, uh, that means that all the um, national coordinators have been the reviewers of the papers presented at this conference. Um, the NCF has also uh, taken care of uh, publishing the uh, proceedings of selected papers from the conference. Uh, so this has been done for a few years now. And the uh, papers from the 2015 conference have been published with Linköping University Press. Uh, and finally, uh, at each conference uh, there, well, since, since last year, I believe, um, there is a Stephen Krauer Award for Young Scientist that is awarded during the conference, and this will also be the case uh, at this conference. Tomorrow, at, at the end, just before the closing of the conference, this award will be presented to a person present here, um, as you will see. Um, with respect to communication and dissemination, uh, the NCF is a very important uh, organ. Um, there is extensive communication between the ERIC and the National Consortia, uh, but also mutually between the National Consortia. And of course, through uh, the NCF, uh, there is uh, dissemination to users and further user involvement. Uh, all of this is taken care of um, or mostly through the monthly online meetings and a few um, in-person meetings that we have each year. Um, so where monthly there is a report from the countries that is presented and we have some um, online documents that are filled out by all the uh, uh, member countries where we have a very nice overview of everything that's sort of happening related to Claren. This could be, this could be meetings, uh, this could be um, user involvement uh, activities, this could be uh, simply also parts of the infrastructure that are launched, like new repositories, uh, new tools and services, etc. Uh, and this is, uh, I mean, this is after, after a while a pretty impressive list of, of achievements. Uh, every month during the online meetings, uh, there's also a report by the Board of Directors to the NCF, 
uh, where the board of directors, of course, represents more or less the central activities. Um, and this is, uh, this is, of course, the main way in which uh, the sort of central clan activities interact with the national ones. Uh, there's also uh, a regular ERIC newsletter to which uh, the national coordinators contribute. So they send in news uh, reports, uh, videos also, uh, and these are distributed then uh, centrally. Um, there are, of course, it also goes the other way. Uh, when Clarion organizes something centrally, like, for example, the conference or, or workshops or whatever, uh, then this is disseminated by the national coordinators in each of the countries. So they have each their national dissemination channels. And finally, uh, the NCF also provides input to strategy plans uh, for the Claren ERIC. Um, with respect to cooperation, uh, well, uh, the NCF itself does not have a budget, uh, but they can, of course, count on the BOD for um, supporting some uh, activities. Um, this is partly through the organization of workshops, um, and this fall uh, a call for workshops was launched. I think it was already mentioned yesterday. Uh, and these workshops are mainly meant for integration purposes and common development of the infrastructure across borders. So the, they always uh, involve international cooperation between a number of national consortia. Then there are also a number of mobility actions. Um, for common development and sharing of knowledge and skills, uh, where, um, so, um, well, at least, at least two uh, consortia from, from, from different, uh, I, I should not actually say consortia as a whole, but um, centers or uh, people associated with Claren in, in different countries uh, can apply for uh, mobility grants to travel across borders and cooperate in practice. And finally, there are also a number of regional activities. For example, there is a, a, a Nordic Clarion network in the, in the Nordic region. There is a, there, there's a Baltic conference, etc. So there are a number of uh, regional activities where um, coordinators, Clarion coordinators, national coordinators, to, together organize uh, things regionally. Uh, yeah, uh, then I have a small list with respect to the organization of workshops. So the, the workshops that are about to be launched um, very soon are um, one on integration of multilingual annotation tools, uh, one on uh, an integrated transcription chain for oral history data, uh, and another one on cooperation on development of Claren D space, which is uh, in use or is going to be launched in nine Claren countries. Uh, there's also, um, in preparation, a uh, um, revised proposal on coordinate interoperability. And um, with the support of the BOD, um, there will be another uh, call for workshop proposals uh, early next year. So this is, this is really an important activity uh, through which the um, people from different national consortia can, can cooperate in practice on, on integration goals. Finally, uh, some prospects. So, uh, well, I've already mentioned there will be more workshops. And this cooperation on interoperability is uh, deemed to be very important. Um, and the NCF also will uh, increasingly provide a contribution uh, to strategies for sustainability, including uh, the three parts that were mentioned earlier, um, governance, um, uh, technical sustainability and and financial sustainability. There, there are quite big differences between countries with respect to, for example, financing and how things are organized nationally. And it seems very important to have a forum where these uh, matters can be discussed. Thank you. Thank you, Kunrat. Yeah, maybe it's good if you stay there. And there is a mic close to you. Um, there's, uh, again, time for questions. Maybe uh, I could say that uh, uh, we, we did discuss a lot of uh, issues related to user involvement, which is, of course, also a task in which the NCF uh, plays an important role. But um, tomorrow afternoon there will be a session where we do some looking forward, and then um, Daya Fischer will present um, some ideas for... Um, 
how to take up the results that we have there uh, and to define or redefine the agenda. Um, there are no other questions and I would also like to underline that a lot of activities take place in the context of the projects that were mentioned by Bente. Uh, Clarion Plus is the biggest one for this community and um, the workshops just mentioned by um, uh, by Kunrad are turn out to be a very good instrument to to take up some of the results coming out of Clarion Plus in, in specifically the um, the user involvement workshops that take place in the contents of Clarion Plus typically lead to a list of ideas of how uh, the discussion uh, uh, yeah uh, ideas that come up in a discussion for follow up actions and the, the workshops um, that uh, Gunrad mentioned are a very good instrument to um, refine the agendas and to uh, start new developments. So next year I hope that we will be able to report on some interesting new cross-country uh, collaboration for very specific topics that have been prepared first of all in the Clarion Plus workshops and then later on uh, in the context of the Clarion Eric activities. If in the meantime, there are no further questions. Uh, another comment, a small comment, something I forget, forgot to mention is that, of course, um, the NCF, even though it's an important forum, is not the only way in which um, national uh, teams interact with each other. Uh, another uh, set of forums is, in fact, the committees. Uh, and. Um, there will be a report later on today about the activities in the committees that are more specifically oriented towards certain uh, tasks like uh, legal issues, uh, knowledge sharing and so on.